Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Commons. My name is Ike Onoha. And to my right, Ayo Suji, House of Commons. Pascal Atuma, House of Commons. Eldi Dumola, House of Commons. House of Commons. So I got. All right. Without any waste of time, we want to go into the topic today. Our topic today is: Has society become too dependent on government? Who wants to go first? I go first. Mm -hmm. All right. The answer is yes. Capital yes. Okay. Uh, why do I say capital yes? Well, that's a lot of stuff going on in our different communities where we exist and that we can fix. Boy. But instead of fixing it, we're waiting for the government to fix it. Who is the government? We are the government. We can actually finish this episode. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I was going to say that's pretty much it. All that's right. That's it. Right. 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 Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the answer. Can I, can I add on to what I say? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being asked. What else are you going to say? I'm giving you props. I'm giving you props. That's the yeah. end of the episode. Yeah. Swagger, swagger. Yeah, yeah. Swagger, yeah. swagger. Yeah. Swagger, swagger. Yeah. Swagger, yeah. swagger. Yeah. Yeah. Swagger, yeah. swagger. Yeah. 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 I look, I look stupid, but I'm smart. Oh. Smart. My brother. Go ahead and add your glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Anytime he's wearing his glasses. It just goes there. Is society too dependent on the government? Absolutely, a hundred percent, yes. Um, we live in a democracy in the United States of America, and every country I've ever lived in, both countries are democracies. And uh, what you just said is the main reason why I believe, for a fact, people are too dependent on the government. If we are the government, if we appoint the government, how can we place that much power in the hands of the government? If we appoint the government, right, we're right. going to do, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you go, then uh... um, definitely, um, like Pascal said, Pascal basically summarized what I was getting ready to say. Um, there's way too much power being placed upon government. And I know that sounds kind of like, but it's the government. So a lot of people may not understand what you're saying because they're like, the government, you know, has the power, but you have. The government this, the government that. This government, government, this. government, 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 as if the government is the one that's doing every little little thing <laughs> like this in, in your own district, your own yeah. communities. Because we can get into details and talk about, we live in LA, we live in a, an area where you, it's a metropolis that has so many different groups. K-Town, uh, Japanese, all these, all these local areas, they're not, some of the concerns that you're saying, the government, 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 they don't have those concerns mm -hmm. because within their area, within their their town, they have they. There's even some law people that don't go to those areas. They have their own government and their own everything economy. Economy. So the people that may be talking about this, that may be saying that, may make these kind of uh, comments. Number one, have placed a lot of power in the government. May not understand the power that they have. That's one. Number two, the probably people in our community because we we don't. We don't necessarily have a community in a lot of areas. In very few areas that there's actually real black commerce, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. which is which is the pro which is a big part of the problem. So we can't even begin to talk about what we can do together because we can't even get together to begin with. But it's like a whole other discussion. Okay. Because we can't because of the whole yeah government. Then we we'll go ahead. We're we're gonna go into it in in, in depth. But real quickly, yes, society has become too dependent on government. Uh, recently, you know, I'll, I'll just say, uh, so, support it real quick with a, with a quick example. Remember, you know, every uh, October to March, they call it flu season. Right, right. And right. everybody has to get a flu shot, especially if you work in a public uh, establishment. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know it's a law now? If you don't get a flu shot in the most public establishment, you have to wear a mask. Whenever you come in contact mm -hmm. with other people, <laughs> that, that's weird. Yeah. I remember you see them sometimes. Exactly, mm -hmm. and government will tell you, you know, you have to put cellophane in your windows because of a fear of a terrorist attack, of a mm -hmm. airborne attack, you know, through uh, uh, chemical uh, mm -hmm. radi radiation, radioactive mm -hmm. material. It's, it's just it's just crazy, but we're going to dip into it, but my answer is yes, society is too dependent on government. Can, can I ask something? Can I ask something real quick? So, when it comes to government, let me just also play the other side of the fence too, because I always like to, because I was um, a student body president at my college, 
um, and I worked with people who work in the governmental type of things, so people who are elected officials, I, I was around that, so I understand it works at a more local level, at a smaller, that's why smaller countries mm -hmm. benefit from government. Government is actually good in smaller countries, and a country, country like America where the powers that be that we have no idea where our president, in my opinion, is nothing but a figurehead, so you have, it's bigger than the, what you see. What you mm -hmm. see is on purpose, what you see has been you know, it's propaganda, it's hype. So I don't, America's a little bit different than other countries, but kind of going back to what Pascal was saying in the beginning, when you're focusing on your own specific community, because even in a small community in the United States of America, you can benefit from small government. But mm -hmm. when it gets big, when we're talking about general election and all that kind of stuff, I'm not saying it's trivial, but the dependence that we have on it is too much mm -hmm. instead of the best we should have up on ourselves to change the things that we need to change within our communities and that's that's what you start off with working with your community mm -hmm. building yourself mm -hmm. getting yourself that's why I was making a point about black commerce places like Atlanta there are various black businesses so the money is getting circulated back in the community so the people who make the decisions are the people with the it goes back to money ah. so it's the cash I was just gonna ask you that. Okay. So I always go back to that. Yeah, go ahead, Elvin. Let me ask. Okay. <coughs> I've always had there's there's somebody who's probably watching this episode right now. He knows who I'm talking about. You know who you are. I've had this conversation multiple times. Mm -hmm. I worked in banking. Right. Right. For four years. I worked in government for ten. Mm -hmm. And I've always wow. said no. Really, you were working as a teenager. Well, I was wow. fourteen working What's in the government. You know, I hear things like the government needs to create jobs. <laughs> to me, right? No, to be quite honest with you, I think that is the stupidest. I think that is the the most foolish statement I've heard more than a hundred people say. The government needs to create jobs. I really don't understand. Wow, that is so true because that is what every so-called per person seeking political office. That's their main agenda. Yeah. How? Like they, okay, well, what yeah. do you Which mean? Which is what I was going to make oh, right after you said oh, that. I was going to make a point about who is feeding them that information. Okay. Okay. The fact that the government creates jobs. Let me, let me, let me jump away from what I mean. Because, because I know you will have, a point, too, you have a point that is important, right? Um, I've heard, you mentioned something about small communities. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Festac Town, Lagos, Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's a beautiful lady named Mama Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> right? Christopher. I'm serious. Mama Puts. Yeah, that's how she we're talking. She wakes up in the morning, when you say oh, commerce, Christopher. she sees, hmm, the community wants food. She will sell food, she will put money in her, in her pocket, in the account. I don't know when a government agent has come there one time to tell her how to use her common sense mm. to make money happen. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm going to ask one question. I've had this argument with this guy that money versus government, who actually makes the rules? Mm -hmm. Who is actually in charge in a capitalistic, democratic society? Who is more important as far as human interaction money. and who, who makes the rules? Is it the government or money. is it the money? The money. Okay. Let, let me come in there. Okay. Number one, if you don't have money, you can't play politics. Period. Okay. No Thank you. Cheers, please. Yeah. 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 Did you hear that? The guy that I'm talking about? Let's keep going. If you don't have money, you can't play politics. Ooh. So most of the time, the people you see in the political positions, they are not the ones that put themselves in there. It's the money backs that put them yeah. in there so they can make policies that will help their business. Mm -hmm. yes. Or policies that will not go against their business. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So when you see government, that's why I say, who are the government? Government, we are the government. Mm -hmm. Now, if the question you just asked, mm -hmm. right? If you live in your own community, I give you an example. Look at where we we live in. I've mm -hmm. lived here in North Hollywood for eight years now. Mm -hmm. I've been in North Hollywood. Baba yo, most of the time when you come here, I don't lock, I don't lock your door, right? Mm -hmm. Accent. Mm -hmm. Why don't I lock my door here? Because you feel safe. Because well, I feel safe. Mm -hmm. Who made this place safe? Is it the government or the people that live around here? Mm -hmm. It's not the government that made this area safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the people that live around here, mm -hmm. which is why before you move in around here, they will run you through many, the landlords Check society, they will run you through many checks, mm -hmm. right? To even, for you even to have someone stay with you for about two, three weeks, that person have to go and get 
plan. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because the community have put in place how to protect that community. Mm -hmm. They don't care about what's happening in the other community. Mm -hmm. They didn't wait for the government to do it. Mm -hmm. Whereas there are some areas you live in, this same California, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you cannot leave your door open. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not making sense. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, let's take it home. Let's take it home. I'll give you guys an example. Traveling, uh, for those who know Nigeria very well, the mm -hmm. eastern part of Nigeria, mm -hmm. when you're traveling to the east, like my area, I'm from Adia State. Mm -hmm. So for us to try, if you're traveling by road, you have to cross in the uh, uh, on each other, over, on each other mm -hmm. over the road, right? Mm -hmm. Then, one day the road was cut off, and we had to drive through one small community to connect. Mm -hmm. And we're driving in their multi-million naira mansions. Mm -hmm. Multi-million, just lined up. Mm -hmm. But there's no access road to, road, to, to get to those mansions. Right. And I'm asking, if you have money to build this 10 story of mansion course. Mm -hmm. building here, this one has 10 story building, this one has 12 story building, all in one location, but there's mm -hmm. no road to navigate. Why can't you guys come together and use this road and you're waiting for the government? Waiting for the government. Yeah. Right? But you're gonna keep waiting for the government until the the, the, the gap will keep coming until your house will fall in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you see you're waiting mm -hmm. for the government. Yeah. So in that case, that is the situation whereby I say that the people are dependent on the government, dependent on the government mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. Do too you want to say something, LD? Or can I come in? Yes, I have some. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, well, it's a good I mean, I love the way you, you, you took it. Okay, I'm also going to take it to a slightly different direction, which is government support, government aid, food stamps, mm. you know, assistance, and assistance. Food assistance. And, and in California, I think we have a lot more assistance than in most states. Yeah. And we're the so-called broke state mm -hmm. compared to everybody else. Mm -hmm. California is going to be bankrupt, you know, over very... Are we already bankrupt, right? We might as well be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, do you know there's so many, so many programs, you know, to, to, uh, because people have, uh, have um, got to the point that they can't even go out and get a J-O-B because there's so much depending on that government check to come through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a flawed system. I'm Absolutely. sorry. And, and, I'm sorry. I, I want to chime in on what you said. Yeah. Because working in social services, I actually saw where people train generations after generations to be dependent. Now, Jay-Z made a statement once. He, he's from Marcy, Brooklyn, yeah, right? Marcy, and he said, he does not advise people to stay in Marcy, Brooklyn, or basically he talked about receiving assistance from the government. He mentioned that Marcy, Brooklyn is a transition, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. A project is a transition to better. Government assistance is a transition to better, sure. right? Yeah. And he was bashed by people saying, He's saying this because he's rich, mm, right? Yeah. But the truth of the matter is this, hey, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. I think it's important for us to talk about this because we come from a system where mm. the government does not even know your life. Yeah. Let's just be real. Right. A child is born, <clears throat> there is no record of this child existing. Yeah, well, there's, no social, there's no social security. So our perspective, yeah. the thing I always tell my friends I here, I like the way this guy, this guy takes stuff to back home. Really? So, and it's not true what he's saying. Hold on, since I met this guy, this is Oh my god. Wait, wait. No, I'm serious. Go no, 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 no. From our perspective. Hold on, can you say it again? We, we, we come, we I come. Feel, I feel so bad. <laughs> well, go, go ahead. It's the truth. We true. come mm -hmm. from a system yeah. where the government does not even know that you're alive. There's yeah. no record. There's no, no, true. There's no record of your existence. And this is not just Nigeria. There's no bad certificate. There's nothing that bond you. For here or there, no it's only the community that knows that you exist. Yes. Mm. I always tell my friends here that I think yeah. it is true. true. I think Americans have become extremely complacent oh, yeah. because of what they're used to, yeah. right? Now, coming from that perspective and seeing how America is set up with all the resources you just mentioned, there is public assistance, mm -hmm. there's FAFSA, yeah. they will pay for you to go to school, yeah. mm -hmm. there is WIC from mm -hmm. 1 WIC. to 18. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Free dental care, mm. health care as well, Medi yeah. medical. There's Medi all these things in the United States of America yeah. that people say the government does not do. Meanwhile, we come from a system where they don't even know you're alive. Mm. You can go to work from one to six months sure. and they will just tell you there's no money. Yeah, yeah. You can go to <laughs> court all you want. The court is not there. Yeah. When this man is stealing from you, we yeah. come from those systems, right? That's the unemployment. Wow. You know, yeah. Let me be real with you. A real unemployment. Uh, I, I actually have not felt bad in a long time, but now. 
Because now that you said something that we actually came from a place where there's no record that we were born. Is it a lie? <laughs> and I'm not disrespecting Nigeria because this is not just Did Nigeria. You that point, it's the truth. So when I hear but Americans, I right? guess I guess LD. Yes. That's another thing that I guess that's why we think the way we think and mm -hmm. act the way we act. Because look, I never heard of um what's that thing when you get when you're not working? When you unemployment. unemployment. I never heard of unemployment before. Tax return? Until the tax return. Even tax Are you return. Serious? I never heard of those. So they give you more money? money? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I never heard of stuff Several like pay. until Shh. I dated someone. Okay, because I was doing Actress. contract work, you know, a while back. I was doing contract work and my contract got terminated. And she was like, you know you can get unemployment. I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> she said, uh, well, I've been using it, you know, I'm a teacher, anytime, you know, it's the school session, whatever, whenever um, I don't have work, I file unemployment. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that work? You know, so she was kind of mm -hmm. <laughs> teaching me the system. Mm -hmm. Teaching me the system, the system. Of, yeah. But I've been working all these years. I never knew that exactly. I could, you know, if you don't have a job, you can go and file. tax and, return. Wow. So, and do you know, Jay-Z, like what, the example you made, I'm not bashing, I'm not saying don't get uh, unemployment if you don't have this, but it should be a transition, it should be something temporal, not what you live your day-to-day -day life on, your base, your, some people have no goals in life again, because they are waiting on unemployment check, or they're waiting on S X Y X X Y Z check or whatever name you call it, what week, whatever state. It's a name. It's a name. So the mentality is what's you know. Well, okay, up. Let me come in. Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah, okay, I really want to the part that where it actually affects me so much, where it makes me upset, it makes me mad, is when they say instead of someone to get up, have a dream or have a vision and go after it, mm -hmm. you sit down there watching B E T. Jerry you Springer. Go, you sit down there. <laughs> Watching Jerry Springer, Judge Judy. You see down there watching Judge Judy, and then tomorrow afternoon you say they won't let us do this. The ah! government will let me do this. Wow. The government will let me do. Is the government the person that's gonna ask you to go to somewhere and buy diapers and see if you can go fling it somewhere and get more money? Wow. Say that again. It, say it again. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Wow. Say it again because you know, you know, they, they sit down there, they watch Jerry Springer, watch BET, watch uh, Atlanta House of. Come on, so I said, Hey, we go. I don't know mm -hmm. about the world. Real housewives. Real housewives. Mm -hmm. And then they, they know which rap music that. But they can watch the House of Commons. They can watch it. Yeah. 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 You can watch it. Yeah. 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 And learn. Yeah. And learn. Not put her. And learn. Yeah. 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 So, and then instead of them to go and find somewhere where well, they can go to the warehouse. And buy diapers in bulk, mm -hmm. and go to their community. Mm -hmm. to to buy hustle. shoes, buy hand or buy bags, or buy handbag. And tomorrow, because from buying handbag, they can go to the point where they're not wholesalers. Mm -hmm. They can go to the point where they're not trying to find out where is this handbag being manufactured, mm -hmm. where they cannot even create employment for two or three people in their family. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Creating employment. employment for two or three people in their family. Instead of that, they will sit down there, and the only thing is. Uh, what is the problem? Uh, the government won't let us do this. They won't let us have this. They won't let us have that. Can I say something, bitch? If you go to most of those other communities, <laughs> no, I'm being real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you go to most of those other communities, most of those businesses you see in those communities, they are not the owned by the government. They are owned what by the people. Most of them, they said the backbone of the United States of America is small business. Okay. Okay. So, I'm saying. so, so 99 percent of what you see in those communities is not by the government. Is by the individuals that of live course. in that community, mm -hmm. and that's how they want their own community. And they have set laws in that own community that you cannot build Excuse this me. kind of this. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. True. Hey, the government is the command. That, that, that is the government, government for government. Now government let me ask you this: Since you mentioned but, but, it, you yes. so, uh, like this flu that you just found out. How? It's the food. government. Stop. <laughs> <It's our laughs> I you know that scene. It's our job to protect ourselves <laughs> from this vaccine and like protect my dream. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get that tap. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Let, let, me, let me let me ask this okay. question. Okay. Since like, we mentioned we mentioned, we mentioned the Nigerian thing, we talked about you know kind of not putting responsibility in the hands of the citizens. Right. Mm -hmm. There's one thing that I would say I've I've noticed. It's a lot easier to take than to give. Mm. 
a lot of times we'll say that we love the United States of America. But that's more blessing to give than to take. Exactly. But we, how much are people willing to give back to the United States of America or to the country that they believe they love and not just take? Some people will say we pay taxes. I'm sorry to say, taxes, however it's being spent, I don't care about the taxes I'm paying as long as I can sleep at night. Right? Yeah. And again, the society we come from, yeah. we know you can pay NEPA, which is light, yeah. nine months in advance. It doesn't mean it does not mean anything. anything. They take it when they want, right? Yeah. So one thing that you mentioned about commerce, right? Going back to the government creating jobs. Yeah. The word government is govern. Yeah. Meaning manage. Put things in place. Yeah. Right? If you look at Facebook, Google, name the company McDonald's, none of these things were made by government. Yeah. But someone saying these facts becomes offensive to a lot of people because it looks like you're backing up the government that is supposed to be some kind of villain. Mm -hmm. Which is what I don't understand. I don't understand why that trend is taking place where we don't want to be responsible for anything anymore. We just want to blame the government. government. Yeah. The thing about it, this is the thing about the, the, it. We, we, we've been programmed here. A lot of a lot of people see the advantage is for those people who have traveled out, who've seen other things, who understand like, dang, America. So if if something happens, I'll call this person. This number, this everything is kind of structured. Mm -hmm. It it's a good thing. It's almost like it's like Nigeria, but the opposite on another angle mm -hmm. where the, everything works, mm -hmm. like it overworks because it's it's almost like it's working for you instead of you you know, coming together and organizing your own thing because you become a robot. Mm -hmm. You know, they tell you how to think. They tell you what to do. You go and pay your taxes. You don't even, you don't even know. You just say, okay, I just have to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, it's just, I'm giving money I don't want to pay, but I have to pay it. No, can, can, I, I, ask, can I add something? Yeah. Do you know that some of them depend on the government so much that the government now know that they depend on them and that they use the TV to control their mentality? That's what I'm saying. Oh, well, that's... Well, that's a, a deep point you just uh, made there. Mm -hmm. right? Well, you don't understand. And, and, and they, so, they so, use the television, they use the news to control mm -hmm. the mentality of, course. of people. That's what it is, Pascal. How? Yeah. When was the last time you watched any intelligent, intelligent show on TV? Me? Yes. Well, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm telling you? Okay, okay. Well, is this a rhetoric question? No, no, it's, it, yeah, it's a rhetoric question. Rhetoric question. Uh, yeah, I don't want you... You know why, what I'm tro where I'm mm -hmm. going to? You know, before... I guess the last uh, 10 years, mm -hmm. you watch actual programs that will make you think on TV. These days, what do you see? Reality TV. Reality shows. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry Springer, George Judy, you know, fighting Kim Kardashian, um, mm -hmm. or game shows mm -hmm. from morning to night. Game mm -hmm. show, how you can win this, how you can win that, how you can win this. Nothing to make you think. The Osborne. Yes. Wow. Not that. Not that. Very logical. Where is the other one? The Atlanta. No, you know. Even maybe I don't have it, but you know what I don't like about it. I hate when people when people glorify stupidity. Oh, stupidity. Ratchetness. Oh, when people glorify ignorance. Yeah. Oh. When ignorance is being put on a table as if it's gold or diamond. Yeah. Okay. Good. Pascal, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they do this, and people call it entertainment. Mm -hmm. What you watch has a lot to do with the way you think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, um, yeah, yeah. Can I just finish before before yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you you uh, you uh, what you came in? Okay. Like the so-called news we watch these days. Yeah. That's the worst thing you can watch. Yes. Yeah. Really. That's yeah, the worst thing. Do you know, you know. I'm sorry. You know. Honestly, I don't. Yeah, even, I don't even have. Can I don't even have cable TV. They want to take the You know. You know. You know uh, I have because, terrible bodies for sports. Okay, <laughs> Look, when you watch BBC, mm -hmm. Al Jazeera Network, mm -hmm. the kind of thing you hear, actual stuff that's going on, the, the, our new CNN, blah, 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 you watch today, Fox, whatever, all they talk about is just people's political uh, agenda. <laughs> it's 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 their political agenda to, to, to um, express their views about the you know what's going on, there's, how they can fulfill their agenda. There's this there's this idea that Democrats or Republicans or oh, whatever, CNN or Republicans are all that are Fox TV wait a second, or, that are different. Mm -hmm. That are that are different or one is more for black people, one is more for this group or that group, which is all a bunch of bullshit. I will say this though. Let me finish. Okay. 
let me tell you why I'm saying this. Mm -hmm. There, yes, there are policies and yes, there are things that they that they push for that may benefit certain communities. But it goes back to what we were saying originally when we first started having this conversation. When you really want to make some real change for yourself and for the community, it starts with the community. Mm -hmm. But we're so fixated on voting for a specific person so we can get some sort of outcome when all they're doing is not everything, but a lot of it is marketing to a group so we can get votes and then when we get in we do what we gonna do and and that, well but and you, what you just said right now but it's the real though that, that's, that's, that's what the republicans do. that their outlet is fox yeah okay and democrats is more cnn uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah, that's the that's reality of what's going on the news of msnbc msnbc yeah if you watch news on msnbc and watch news on cnn it might be the same news but it will be told in different angles yeah of course and, and so, let me let me let me yeah. kind of Chime in on what you guys said. Mm -hmm. Like the 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 belief of you know the yeah. government. I keep going back to, especially in the United States of America. Take for example, people say I'm stupid for thinking this way, but this is the only way I can see it making logical sense. Mm -hmm. Apple is one of the biggest companies in the world. Yeah. They bring an economy to San Francisco yeah. and to the Bay Area like no other. Oh yeah. If the government says, hey Apple, you can no longer create phones with two buttons, and Apple says, okay. We're moving. What would the government say? Let's be real. With the economy that Apple brings, uh, let's be honest. Yeah. Well, help me, help me. I get that, that. That is you're stretching it too much because definitely the government will never say anything about Apple. Apple is the one that it will. Yeah. Is the government. He with the goal. He's the one right? that controls the government. With the goal. Yeah. It does. It not come back to what exactly. I said. Exactly. Yeah. He with yeah. the goal. So my issue is this. People's intellect to actually sit back and analyze what is actually in control. Is it the government that we appoint? Or is it... I told this guy the other day, he mentioned he was arguing with me about lobbyists. And I said, I will tell my kids, your vote doesn't count, get rich. I'm not literally going to tell them don't vote, but I'm telling them, before you focus on depending on the government, learn how to go and fish and catch fish and sell fish first. Yeah. Understand how to make a living on your own yeah before depending especially because it's only when you have a way to make a living for your own that the yeah. government will listen to exactly. you exactly yeah he was arguing me about that fact that. and yeah. i said chief somebody who's wealthy his opinion is expressed before mine because he's right at the table yeah i'm going I hear that <laughs> he's, he's the decision maker he with the gold makes the rules well, I, I guess another thing when you, when you when you're wealthy you have businesses the policies that the government put in place affect your business negatively yeah. or positively. So because of that, you are worried and you are concerned about who's going to make that policy. Exactly. And so what do you do? You find a way to get close to them. And how do you go close I'm to them? I'm glad you mentioned this. Yeah, but because if I to get close to them, you have to, that's why you see when there's a campaign, mm -hmm. you see political fund raising. Mm -hmm. What does that mean when they come into different communities? I, I give you an example when uh, What's his name? Uh, Bill Clinton mm -hmm. was running for the second time. Mm -hmm. I went to one of the fun uh, raising mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, fun raisers or whatever they call it, event. Yeah, I was invited by a couple of big boys mm -hmm. who invited me. I went. So when I went there, in that group, mm -hmm. I might be the smallest because mm -hmm. there were some big money bags that control things in this community. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they didn't come there to donate one dollar. Mm -hmm. They come there to donate real money to mm -hmm. get their name on the list. Mm -hmm. So that when Bill wins, whatever is going to happen, they, their interests will be protected. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you don't have anything going for you, you don't have mouth to come there. That is yeah. so true. And it's, 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 it's the same in all societies, even, even in Nigeria. Even in Nigeria. So even in Nigeria. If you say even in Nigeria. Yeah. No, he, he knows. <laughs> right? he, he knows he, you know, you, you have someone to run for the go go governor of a state. Yeah, governor of a state. state. He, he yeah. was one of the campaign mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Is he go? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He was from the government of the government. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put it out there now. The he went and they settled him. Hell! Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. That's what I told you. Then, hold on. He came and said, what? Oh, bros, let's go. I said, bros, give me my own share. <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it's a true thing. Now, yes, now, yes, now, yes, 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 now that we're talking about this, we're, right now is a really interesting time in politics in the United States of America. Right, right. right. Extremely important. Mm. Uh, the one thing I want to bring up first is 
minimum wage in California yeah. is being increased. I believe it's to fifteen dollars right. within the next five years. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My perspective is this: it's not going to help any citizen at all because not at everything all. is going to go high too. Not just it's everything that, go that, high. Not right. Have you businesses seen? cannot afford to hire you. Yeah. With the stingy ways. Of, Businesses are businesses to make money. Exactly. They're not in business to make your life easy. They don't yeah. care. It's yeah. a business. Mm -hmm. Saying that seems harsh, mm. but it is the truth. And, uh, and businesses are businesses to make money. I just saw, I just saw a, a chart that said the greater Los Angeles area. Where in the greater Los Angeles area could you make $15 an hour full time and be able to live? Nowhere. And there was no place. You okay, live. Okay, let me tell you something. Mm. Before you start a business, the initial goal of any businessman in this world, small or big, is Money. to use minimum input to make maximum profit. Exactly. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's mm. not to use maximum input. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So whatever they do that will affect the business owners is going to affect the company <coughs> directly. Period. Yeah. Yeah. So the earlier that you know that people wake up and yeah. know that. The, we should not live our lives and let it depend on in the hands of the government. Exactly. Yeah. You, and should, you should learn to take control of your own life. If you take control of your own family, then see what you can do with your own community. Yeah. If you take care of your community and you guys work out a way to work with your community, yeah. you work out a way to work with your I do the same. Mm -hmm. That is the government. Now, let me ask you this. Okay, let me ask you guys this. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So, recently, the government bailed out, you know, large Which corporations. Mm -hmm. And... There are also people, citizens, who have student loans, who have mortgages, who are not being bailed out. Mm. What do you think about situations like that? Oh, I will answer it. Yes. You think it's the government? I'm going to answer okay. the question. Yeah. Those people that they bailed out are the ones that have put them in there. Mm. That's, that's mm -hmm. what it is, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Is it right though? That, that, that's no. the I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What is the job of the government? The job of the government is to make policies that will mm -hmm. govern the society. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to help, help actually implement, mm -hmm. putting uh, people in, in motion to mm -hmm. implement those policies. Mm -hmm. Now, those big corporations you see are the ones that gave, when they, when they were doing that political fund mm -hmm. raising, those were the ones, the big boys that control those companies, mm -hmm. that put out that money. Mm -hmm. You with your student loan, did you put out money? No. <laughs> You didn't put out money. I, I'm, I'm coming. I, I, I'm being real. Mm -hmm. I, I know I'm going there, but you want me to go there. Right? No, no, no. I think this is the reality that people don't want to hear, though. But it's yeah, the truth. It's, 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 it's the truth. truth. I'm being real. So, why would I give a that I'm about to you, your student loan and your mortgage. But, but the funny out, thing would is, I even know that you were kicked out? Pascal, did you, do you know the, the student loan is the, is gov the government that is controlled? Controlling that's what I'm saying. Now. That's what I'm saying. So whatever happens to so you, the like, point of, that, they, why would the government bail out, the government out? Exactly. Okay, 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 no. Why would they, exactly? Okay, okay, okay well, that's what I'm telling you now. It is the. <laughs> you want me to define it for you? Nico, please. It's the government of the people for the people that put the people in the government for the people. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the reason why this is an important topic. The reason why this is important topic yeah. is because again, yes. it's because again, people don't want to accept. The reality of life. Yeah. You said I said businesses are a business to make money. You said something about minimum input, to make maximum, maximum output. Market. Anybody yeah. who's in business, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of people, small, small and big. Yeah. People That's look big. at the one percent as villains, forgetting that human beings yeah. in their situation will do the same thing. Yeah. Minimum input, maximum output. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Let okay. Me, okay. Okay. Let me tell you something else. What is what? Don't make one sentence. Politics is business. Trust. Yeah, of course. Okay, okay, real quick. Once you understand yeah, that, you understand. Real, real quick, this is a little bit of a digression, though. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the uh, American politics today. What's mm -hmm. going on? <laughs> Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you guys have been following what's the yes. trend with the debate and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. To me, I think this man is a joke. I think you know why? Mm -hmm. He's a businessman worth about I don't nine, think he's a, I don't think nine, a joke. nine ten billion dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This man. Is hammering about China, China, China is gonna stop China, he's gonna do this to China, he's gonna his ties are being manufactured in China. Mm -hmm. His shirts are being made in all those places he's talking about, he's gonna change. What how is this can man I, can serious? I one how is this serious? Can I say something? Okay, okay. First and foremost, right? He's not serious. I don't believe Donald Trump actually wants to be the president. Yeah. I think if you're real realistic about 
everything that we know. Yeah. I highly doubt that Donald Trump actually wants to be the president of the United States of America. Here's what I'll say though. I do think though, he is saying out loud what a lot of people are running away from. Mm. And that is the only reason why I think he's in the game. Mm. To get that point spoken about, and then he jets. Well, yeah. true, okay, true, true. Can I, can I, can I, I, okay, real, real quick, I'm just going to shut up. Look, and I think Donald Trump was happily surprised with the outcome this time. Because he's run how many times? Mm -hmm. Like every, every election he runs. So, you know, to him, like you said, it's a, it was a joke, which is his normal routine. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the polls are making him like, wow. Exactly. Um, Do you so know why that's keeping him so... Because we start Let me come in now. Yeah. Let me come in now. Usually before, politics was defined as a zero-sum game, mm -hmm. where the winner wins all and the loser loses all. Mm -hmm. But in modern politics, it's no longer a zero-sum game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Modern politics is an inclusive mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Donald Trump, you said... You, you, you say you think it's a joke mm. or something. It's not a joke. It's a game. Mm. It's a political game. Whether Donald Trump is out here for real mm -hmm. or not out here for real, there is something at stake for him. Mm -hmm. And he's protecting his interest. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if he decides to yield to someone mm -hmm. and say, I'm gonna, he's going to get something. He's going to get something out of it. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it, there's no loss for him. True, mm -hmm. true. Am I making mm -hmm. am I making sense? You're making sense. It's gonna be on record mm -hmm. that Donald Trump ran for presidential. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been on record for the past. Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 four, 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 number two. Four, five, no, 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 I'm I'm yes, right, okay. So you know that in the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, there are circles, there are mm -hmm. um, different cartels. Mm -hmm. Right? Now if don't, it's, it's a, I don't, it's, it's, not, it's a game, I don't even know. I think he's a genius. You, right? yeah. Yeah. I don't so, support so, anything he's saying, yeah. but he's a genius though. I'll, I'll yeah. It's smart. It might even not be Donald Trump that's putting Donald Trump out there. Mm -hmm. Somebody else might be putting him out there, waiting for the right time to take over mm -hmm. from where he starts. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, is this, this is a big boy's game mm -hmm. that I... I know a little bit of it because mm -hmm. of my father's connection to politics, mm -hmm. but it's not something I can explain fully here. Yeah. And, 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 and that's I, I understand what I'm saying. And that's it's a game. Yeah. Yeah. And he, whatever he wants, his interest is... Sorry, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is not going to lose a dime behind everything he's doing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And, definitely. But here's the thing, though. Here's right. the, thing. Right. Here's right. the right. issue. Somebody's going to pick up the chair. Here's right. where it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Where we understand yeah. it is a game. Yeah. But when people spend their lives thinking that's actually the change yeah. that is needed, mm. yeah. that's where the problem lies. But a lot of people, those are people that are not exposed to the level where the game is. Because you see, the game they're playing is different from what they But think, but think about it. Do you okay. what but the mass, the mass public is not going to know. They're, they're, they're not going to play on that level. But it's not for you to know. But it doesn't matter. But we, it, 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 I don't know everything that's going on, but I know yeah. not to wait for it. Yeah. Well, I know well, not to wait. Yeah. yeah. Guys, so just because you don't know, so that means that you just buy into so everything. I guess. It? I guess that's the whole purpose of this this conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah like, why are people so dependent brother, on the gov government? That's right. Like, we're here no way. to educate mm -hmm. and inform and you know expose what's going on. Yes. You know. That's, that, that, that's a particular bracket. Financial bracket you belong to, mm -hmm. you understand what's going on because then they will include you. Because of course, need you. they need yeah. they need your finances. That's yeah. obvious, but but this is what I'm saying. I hear what you're yeah. saying. I hear what you're saying, but we're talking about the mass public they that mean, thinks. Who thinks they care about? Uh, but I guess that's the whole purpose of Fox News. Yeah, yeah, people has need... two million consistent viewers. No, no, no. I hear daily. You. I hear you. Okay, but, but that's so why... people believe in what they're saying. It's not just entertainment. But that's people how, believe in all a lot of this stuff. That our rules hey, implemented. Hey, yes, hey, absolutely. Hey, people believe hey, in this stuff. Hey, during every political campaign or political rally, mm -hmm. you hear people come on on stage and say, "When I vote me in, I'll do this. Right. I'll do that. And it still is not happening. I'll do that. Once you vote them in, mm -hmm. all they said was of rhetorics. Do that say you you know that. We, yeah, right. Yeah, you know, well, that, you know that's that. why we have this show to yeah. educate and inform okay. and okay. tell people what the real deal is. The issue is that the issue is that we've done, already talked about this. There's almost no middle class. There are people at certain, and I'm not just going to say that it has anything to do with any educational level. But you're talking about people at a certain tax bracket that will be exposed to certain things because I have a better understanding, which is not a lie. But what about the mass public that doesn't have that exposure? Hey, hey, let me say something, bro. 
after a certain age, after after you take math one in the first grade, <laughs> you should understand common sense. Mm. If you have one dollar, mm. right, and something is fifty cents, mm -hmm. and you spend one dollar, you will get fifty cents back, right? Mm -hmm. Here's one thing that I'll say about a lot of people in America. Right. A lot of people in America don't want to take responsibility for the mess ups that they, they create. Mm -hmm. Let me just call it what it is. I worked right. at the bank. Mm -hmm. I know if you're making fifty thousand dollars a year and you are on a thirty year mortgage for a six hundred thousand dollar house. And every every other year you buy an eighty thousand dollar car, you send your kid three kids to school, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You wait, you're employed by an employer that has the right to fire you at any time. You put yourself in so much debt, yeah. right? And you compare yourself to a GM that actually produces cars and makes an economy happen. And you say that the government should create jobs or should bail you out after you did not after you bit off more than you can chew. And this is seventy people out of a hundred. Mm. You get credit cards. You go on vacation. There's something called sacrifice. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to sacrifice. Yeah. Mm. You know, living below their means. I mean, yeah. And, and, and they want most people don't. Most people do not want to do, do that. Do that. Do way. Do that. Wow. Wow. Why do some? Why? Why someone that's broke? What do you need vacation for? I mean, you gotta be get yeah, busy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, no, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry to ask, but because well, we're going to go with your blaming the government. If you are broke. And you are in debt. What what are you going it's to call? It's well, called well 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 Pascal, it's called before, program. before you even get there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how did you get broke? To you, begin you with got, exactly. you got five, six, seven credit cards. Exactly. Buying things you don't need. And then you, look, you know, and then you take another credit exactly. card. Exactly. And take a look at that <laughs> to pay for your credit mm -hmm. card mess. So no no no. I guess the thing the main thing is the mentality. Mm -hmm. is we need to start thinking. I mean, you can't. But well, Pascal still touching on something. Some example. people just don't have it at that moment, but they want to live the lifestyle. That's what we're saying. That's why we're and trying and to make people and think to, to the, the point and that blame the government and the, the, the point government. that they change their their lifestyle yeah. and their ways of thinking. And it, it, it's <laughs> you know we sound well, let's, very let's Republican conclude. right now, right? Let's yeah, conclude. Let's conclude. We'll, we'll conclude. Wow. I also I want I want to say something about what you said. Right? I could be crazy. I could be stupid. I might not know what the hell I'm saying. You're crazy. I know. I don't really follow politics that much. Uh -huh. You're a crazy genius. Say, about that. <laughs> one thing I will say is, you know, looking at the Democrats and Republicans in the United States of America, uh -huh. I believe one thing. Both parties need to be in power at certain times mm -hmm. in society, right? Yeah. I can't really say I place to this party because as a Democrat, I can say sometimes from what I see, I don't know a lot about politics, but it seems like the Democrats are definitely for the people, mm -hmm. right? And the Republicans are more of an orderly, iron fist kind of yeah. party. Mm -hmm. I, I could be wrong, but sometimes the country doesn't need an iron fist. Well, you know, well, 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 what, what, what I'll say to that, what, what I'll say to that is, I could be wrong. When, oh, when, okay, 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 real, 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 real quick, before, before, okay. before, before I forget, real quick, vote for the person or the policy, not the party. That's yeah. where America is going wrong. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Americans yeah. go wrong on that. They, mm -hmm. they follow party. Part is not the answer, is the person and the policies. That's why I got so excited when Obama came in, you know, ran for mm -hmm. government. Okay? Look, politics, because of the dirty game which it is, mm -hmm. I can't believe all these people are saying Obama this is Obama this. Obama has not done that. Look, have you checked this man's record mm -hmm. in the past six years? Mm -hmm. Empo unemployment has gone down. Uh, mortgage, you know, the interest rate has gone down. Everything. But it, that's the one thing I, I don't like about, you know, they call they say politics is a deadly game. Would, you would, have to bash whoever is in power just so that you look good and you look presidential. Mm -hmm. That is just. I, have not, that, 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 I, I, don't, I don't like that part. Well, on, on, a, on, a, you know? on, a, on a spectrum, right? When Obama like first was running, he was more on one side than as, as he started going. It became sort of sliding towards the middle a little bit because you have to. It's a game. It's, it's a, a game. It's, it's a game. game. You uh -huh. have to. And those policies that we're talking about, like he was saying, there are times when certain policies make sense for the situation that we're in. More than likely, this is a time when we need to be a little bit more conservative about what we're doing. Yo, the high five. Mm. Yeah. It's hard for black folks. I'm sorry. Connected to something. Connected to what Stephen A. Smith said. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. Okay, Stephen A. Smith so, said, said, he yeah, said, yeah, go ahead. he thinks maybe, the, well, he hopes one day black African Americans yeah. vote Republican because maybe it will make the Democrats appreciate the blacks more. Mm -hmm. Because Democrats already know, we got you. Mm -hmm. You ain't going nowhere. So if blacks voted Republican,
Republican. It's not necessarily about the party, but it's you don't know what you got till it's gone, right? Mm. It's almost like that girl that you didn't appreciate when she was there, but then she leaves, and you're like, whoa. But, but before you before you talk about that, you need to go back and look at the origin of the Democratic Party mm -hmm. and the Republican Party. And it will surprise a lot of people. Yeah. And it will surprise a lot of people because I know, from what I know, which it is surprise a lot of people. Um, if it wasn't up to 1950-something, yeah. you know, they started allowing blacks to register as Democrats. Yeah, Democrat it was flip-flop. It was a right yeah, yeah, it made sense. Yeah. Yeah. So before you go into that, it's deeper than what we can just discuss mm -hmm. here. So let's conclude. Let's yeah. conclude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can uh, discuss it here. <laughs> you want to, you want to? <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll just start at the conclusion. Um, uh, basically, it's, first of all, it's your responsibility. Um, now, in 2015, the resources are out there for you to go study and go research. A lot of stuff that's being fed to you um, is being fed to you and may not necessarily be the truth. So you need to go do your research and, and use common sense when it comes to understanding government, understanding its role, understanding your role as a, as a citizen. Um, if, uh, if you're a part of government, understanding what your role is as well because you have a responsibility as well on any level. So um, definitely... I think a lot of what we're seeing these days, and I, my, my dad's been saying this since I was a kid, so, and it's still the same thing today. A lot of Americans are robots, in my personal opinion. And mm. we think because of the way everything has been marked, we market so well. I mean, America is king marketer. Number you know, one. Number one, you can't touch us when it comes to marketing. So when, when, when somebody's presenting us something, a lot of us really believe that we need certain things that we don't need. Which is why we, I mean, that's like another issue, but it's related because we just talked about how we need to be a little bit more concerned about some of the things that we were doing. But as far as the government's role in our lives, when it comes to assistance, when it comes to all these things, we need to come back and it's a, we're, we're, we're knee deep in. So it's really hard to pull back in some things, but we're enabling certain things. And we're not able to do things on our own. We're so used to the government doing everything for us. And we depend upon the government. Like we were talking about earlier, you have unemployment. I'm not saying it's bad. We have unemployment. You have severance pay. You have all these, these things. In these other places. Blessings. Blessings. In other places, not only do they not have record of the fact that you exist. <laughs> they don't even care that you exist. <laughs> they want you to actually they, not exist. They don't want you to even <laughs> exist. You're just taking up space. <laughs> You're just more competition for us to get more yeah. of the resource. So I would say, and I know they're going to touch on more about it, but I would say definitely do your research, study and learn. I mean, not everybody has been blessed to be in some of the circles that we've seen and some of the people that we've met or those kind of things. So it's it's your responsibility because a lot of, we're giving you this, we're telling you now, <clears throat> look. The government is their job is to do what they do, and they, and a lot of times they do things for us that that helps us. But it's in their interest. It's also a business, just like anything. It's a business exchange of services. Exactly. Wow, wow! I oh. didn't know you were this smart, man. I want to college. <laughs> well, while you were saying your conclusion, all my conclusion was you know. Like, well, you just well. Uh, is it Martin Luther that said the mind is a very ter uh, ter terrible, terrible thing to waste? You said it all there. Think, do your research, study, learn, educate yourself. Mm -hmm. I came to America with $19. You went to no, no, $20 in my pocket. I remember I came to America with $20 in my pocket. And funny enough, someone took that money when I just arrived. Oh, wow. In America, so well, I, 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 was broke. <laughs> I was broke, you know, and I've been fortunate to get education here, mm. you know, in America, and I can make a living for myself now, you know, mm. from living this. America is beautiful, don't get us wrong. We're not mm. bashing America, we're not talking. I mean, I've benefited from a lot of government oh, programs, yeah, from unemployment, yeah. from severance pay, because mm. I've been fired, I've lost jobs, yeah. I've, I've, um, I learned unemployment from somebody that I, I never knew unemployment. So, but I was on these programs for short periods of time. That's what it's intended for, to, mm. short, to like to get you over the hump when you mm. know everybody goes through you know um, some obstacles in life. So yeah. the main thing is the mentality, the mindset. That's what separates a winner from a loser. The mindset because 
there's so much opportunity in this land. So much. So many opportunity. Like I was saying, I came here with twenty dollars in my pocket, but no, you have twenty million. Congratulations. I too. wish I had twenty million. Uh, okay. uh, not let people come, but you will come. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me finish that. Well, real quick though, this is true work though, we're saying, you know, um, don't keep blaming other people, blaming the government, blaming this, blaming you. Blame yourself for everything you go through. <laughs> because you're the one that is sitting down on that couch and watching XYZ program. You're the one that decided not to go to school or go to school. I'm not saying school is the answer for everything, but it does help. And if you don't have any talent to be an actor, to sing, to blah, 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 you better go learn some kind of trade or some mm -hmm. something important that would pay the bills or uh, get you over the necessary the whatever you need to do, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll leave it there. I know you guys need to talk. All right, my own conclusion is this. If you think the government is not doing enough, why don't you run for office and get the government? Wow. Mm. Hey, he's right about that. Yeah. Well, that's true. Okay. If, you think, well, uh, if you think the government is not doing enough, government this, government that, government that, mm -hmm. get your group together. Get your friends together, find out which one of them is educated enough. You guys come together, run for office in your in your community. Mm -hmm. You can start from the local government or however it's done in America. Uh, it's chap walls or however they do district. Yeah, district. Uh, but you can start from that. If after the district you go to the state, mm -hmm. and after the state you can go to the federal. Mm -hmm. Right? So that way you become the government. And that thing you said that the government is not doing, you not do it yourself. You will now see why they're not doing it. Why not doing it. Yeah. Because it's easy to stay outside and talk about people inside. Oh, yeah. Because when you get inside, you find out that uh, all that yeah. that is not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's number one. Number two, my sister, my brother, leave BET alone for a minute. Hey, man, I agree, man. Um, leave uh, Atlanta House of Wives Commons. <laughs> oh my God! What's the show again? Atlanta House of Wives Commons. Okay. Oh, wow. wow! Let's I'm watch that too. show. Yeah. Uh, uh, Labor. <laughs> Labor. Uh, uh, Housewives of Los Angeles or Housewives of Miami. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, keeping up with the Kardashians. Uh, today I was watching the news, Yahoo News, mm. and what was a topic, a headline on Yahoo News is how Rihanna went on a date with her panties on. So that was so top line. Of, top so that's, line that's, story. that was a headline. Wow. That, that did, they, was, uh, did they have any pics or anything like I that? Didn't, or I or didn't click on it because <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't click on it because I felt that it was so useless of a topic that I didn't want to spend more than the one second or one minute I used to it, read the headline. The internet space. Yeah, people are dying yeah. in the war. And people are dying in the war. So longer. what I'm saying is if you want the government to control your life and make it miserable, they will. Mm. But if you want to help yourself, you can get up from that couch, turn off that TV, get out that door, and find your life. Mm. Amen. Amen. Uh, one thing I'll say, I emphasize this a lot, we come from a society that the government is not fair to its citizens. That is a government that I can definitely say is a work in progress for the better. You know, um, in Jesus' name. Amen. The United States of America is the land of opportunity. It is becoming a little bit more scarce to find opportunities because... The middle class is being eliminated. It's almost, yeah, it's it's almost, gone, it's almost gone. You know, uh, he mentioned something about educating yourself. I think it's important to sit back and analyze need, understand what a yeah. society needs, and find out how to be the provider of that need, supply and demand. Mm -hmm. Also, politicians, businesses are not responsible for your life. Not you, not. Charity begins at home. There's a president that said this. I think he's a Republican. So people probably slap me for saying this. Mm -hmm. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. JFK. JFK. And he, and he wasn't. He it was a Democrat. Democrat. Yeah. So you can tell I don't follow politics. <laughs> but ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. It's probably one of the truest statements because it is unfair to have a country that gives you FAFSA, WIC, food stamps, e food stamps EBT. There's so much more Medicare. to it. Medicare. Wow. There's, it's unfair for a country that gives you all that much. Constant electricity. Constant electricity. Constant water. Water. Hot water. Hot water. Cold water. Cold water. <laughs> Cold water. <laughs> Keep going. You flush your toilet and it flushes. Did you mention tax returns? Tax, tax return. return. Huh. I mean, it seems yeah, like they're actually giving the money back. They actually give you money mm. back. It's a real check. If you touch it, money actually comes <laughs> out. A government that gives you a solution by if you're in trouble, you even die 911. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The house is burning and you go, call something go and to it my happens. Car, yes. you, go to my car, you will die. Guys, I'm not saying 
does not work to be the United States of America, but I do believe that it is with the people not depending so much on the government and actually putting things into place that actually assist the government yeah. in assisting us. Yeah. I want to make a suggestion. Yes. For the Americans, I think you should try to save money. Ah! Travel out of America. Shit, you know what's funny? Yeah, you will what's appreciate funny? the country yeah. that, that you live in. Can I say one thing? Yeah. Say one thing? Uh -huh. I've always said, if I become president of the United States of America, one thing that I will implement mm -hmm. is that before the age of 21, right, everyone has to live at least three months outside of the United States of America. Mm. And that will make them appreciate And I'm not talking about going on vacation. No. no go to Live like the citizens yeah. of other countries. In and other world countries. Country. And Something. then come back to the United States of America. So yeah. Tell me how much you like. You are a picture of the government. Cheers. Come on. Subscribe. Subscribe.